Rainy Dose presents 8 Signs You Have Trust Issues. Trust is the bedrock upon which connections are built. It forms the sturdy foundation that allows love, friendships, and companionship to flourish. But when cracks appear in that foundation and trust is compromised, it can be challenging to establish and maintain fulfilling relationships. Trust issues with a tangled web of suspicion, anxiety, and insecurity and they can linger and manifest in several ways. Here are eight potential signs of trust issues that you might find all too familiar. No, one you feel like you have to do everything. When you have trust issues, you feel like you can't rely on others to follow through with commitments, promises or expectations. This lack of trust can result in a heightened desire to control everything in your life, to minimize the risk of being let down or disappointed. It can be anything from micromanaging and a reluctance to delegate tasks to excluding others from decision making. And although this may create an illusion of control, in the short term, it leads to excessive stress and overworking in the long run as you take on too much responsibility and burden yourself with unrealistic expectations. No, to suspicion marks all your relationships. When you have trust issues, Suspicion often becomes the default mode of thinking. It's as if you have a filter in your mind that automatically interprets people's words and actions in the most negative light. You find it difficult to trust the intentions or motives of others, assuming there is always a hidden agenda or ulterior motive behind their actions. You might be quick to dealt the sincerity of compliments or acts of kindness, attributing them to manipulation or insincerity. This reflex reaction of suspicion can have a significant impact on your relationships. It creates a barrier between you and others, making it difficult to genuinely connect with them, and also leads to misunderstandings, conflicts and a sense of constant doubt and unease in your interactions. Note 3. You avoid intimacy. Intimacy and vulnerability go hand in hand, and trust issues can make it challenging to open up and be vulnerable with others. When you struggle with trust issues, you do anything you can to avoid feeling vulnerable. For example, you may prefer to be alone over the risk of getting hurt by others, or you distance yourself from romantic partners. When things start to get too serious, you might also struggle to open up the close friends or family members. This tendency to avoid intimacy often leads to isolation and loneliness and can leave you feeling unfulfilled in your relationships. When you keep others at arm's length, it's difficult to build trust and establish deep connections with them. No, for you have a hard time forgiving. For someone with trust issues, the pain of betrayal or breach of trust could be especially long lasting. Once somebody lets you down or breaks your trust, you lock that memory away and never forget it. This makes it incredibly challenging to forgive and move past the experience. Sadly, the mistrust that arises from these experiences has far-reaching effects on your relationships. Not only does it make it difficult to trust that particular person again, but it can also make it challenging to trust others in general. No, five, you're always looking for proof to confirm your suspicions. When you struggle to trust others, you may feel compelled to constantly search for evidence to confirm or disprove someone's honesty. This ongoing search for proof is driven by your difficulty believing others and the need to put your mind at ease or validate your suspicions. However, this constant search for evidence can become a self-perpetuating cycle. It can lead to hypersensitivity and overanalyzing every action, word or behavior of the other person. Even innocent remarks or actions can be misinterpreted or blown out of proportion, further fueling your doubts and suspicions. No. 6. You have smothering, hovering or codependent tendencies. When trust issues are present, it's common to develop a fear of being abandoned or a fear of experiencing something negative happening to those closest to you. It sparks a need to be super protective and an intense desire to control how things play out in your relationships. This behavior, frequently grounded in anxiety and the need for security, can appear as smothering, hovering or codependency. Unfortunately, engaging in these protective behaviors strains relationships and creates a sense of suffocation for the other person. 
they may feel overwhelmed, controlled or unable to freely express themselves. This breeds resentment, conflicts and in the end, the very fear of abandonment you try to avoid. No, seven you frequently test people. Trust issues can drive you to test the loyalty of others, intentionally creating scenarios to gauge the trustworthiness of the people around you. It can be anything from solid questioning and probing to setting up situations of temptation or deceit. But this only fuels mistrust and suspicion within your relationships, causing strain and potential damage. These behaviours are also unfair to the people around you, as they may be unaware of the tests and feel confused and hurt by your actions. No, I too have a cynical or pessimistic outlook on life. When trust issues are present, developing a generally pessimistic view of the world is common, where you constantly anticipate the worst possible outcomes. This makes you hesitate to take risks or pursue opportunities out of the fear of failure or disappointment because you always anticipate negative outcomes. You find yourself avoiding new experiences, relationships or challenges. Moreover, a pessimistic view can inhibit your ability to find joy or appreciate the positive aspects of life. It becomes difficult to fully engage with and savor positive experiences when constantly expecting the worst. You're more likely to dismiss or downplay moments of happiness or success, anticipating that they are temporary or undeserved. Trust issues often arise from past experiences or personal insecurities. Perhaps you have been betrayed or deceived, leading to a deep-rooted fear of experiencing the same pain again. Also low self-esteem could be playing a role in these dynamics. Addressing trust issues involves acknowledging these underlying causes and working toward building trust. This can be achieved through open and honest communication with others, setting clear boundaries, and gradually allowing yourself to be vulnerable. It's important to remember that not everyone is out to deceive you, and by allowing yourself to trust, you open up the door to genuine connections and deeper relationships. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the on. notification bell. Also be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.